All right, going to be heating up for college football. Well, high school football we know is underway across the area. And it is week two of B100's tailgate tour. Here with the details is B100's Connor Kenny. Connor, welcome back to the studio. Thanks for having me, Morgan. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> yeah, it has. As always, though, we enjoy having you here. Yeah. Um, so talk a little bit about what happens each week when B100 shows up at these high school football games. Yeah, well, we don't know where we're going every single week. You know, okay. there's nine weeks of the Quad Cities high school football season, both on the Iowa and Illinois side. Uh, but that's where our wonderful listeners get to come into play and vote for which game we get to go to every single week with Upper Iowa University Quad Cities and Nothing Bun Cakes. Okay, so those are your participating sponsors yep. for this event. Yeah. There's $100 involved. Explain yeah. what happens with that. You just hand it's, out 100 bucks. It literally is the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> so whichever game we're at, we're there an hour before kickoff. Most kickoffs like 7, 7.15, 7.30. Sure. So depending on which game we're going to, we're there for an hour. You literally just walk up to us. We take down your name and your phone number. And at kickoff, we pick one person. Right. We call you and hand you a crisp $100 bill. Absolutely love that. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll be showing up at some of these games. Right. Uh, so talk a little bit about week one. I saw some photos yep. of uh, Sarah at Pleasant Valley versus Bettendorf. Yes. So uh, how, how did that go for you guys that first week? It went well. You know, luckily it wasn't too hot outside. It was no. still decently warm, but yeah. that heat dome was was going away. Uh, you know, Bettendorf took the victory 30-10 to 10 against the Pleasant Valley Spartans. Uh, but this week, uh, we have one of the two games you could, we could go to is either the Muscatine Davenport Central game actually this Thursday night at Brady Street Stadium or my alma mater in Clinton. Oh. They're going up to Maquoketa there in Jackson County to take on uh, the Cardinals up there. So okay. whichever game has the most votes, that's the game. Well, we'll go I $100. voted. I told you who I voted for, but yeah. I'm not telling anybody else because obviously you guys haven't chosen. When do we find out? So we'll announce Thursday morning okay. since, you know, that game is Thursday night. If that game has the most votes, then we got to let everyone know we're coming. Yeah. Uh, we can <laughs> show up surprised and everyone like, hey, 100 bucks. Sign yeah. up to win. I'd love to do that, but administrators are like, what are you guys doing around here? <laughs> yeah, the school administrators don't absolutely love that when you right, show up. Right, yeah. Um, okay, and is that typical that you do that every Thursday when you guys have a matchup just so people yep. can prepare yes. and know ahead of time? For sure, yeah. Depending on the games that, that you can vote between, it's typically Thursday morning is when we announce it. About 10, 15 or so okay. is when we'll announce the game we'll tailgate at. And we're excited because we're looking at some of these games, and as the uh, season progresses, we'll definitely, hopefully, people send us to the big matchups is yes. what we're shooting for. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so it's also back to school season. We can't leave this out. The resurgence of B100's QC Teacher of the Week promotion. This is really great that you guys do it. Uh, for people that don't know about it, kind of tell us what's involved here. Yeah, this is, I'm telling you right now, in the time I've been with B100 uh, and in radio, my favorite promotion. Yeah. Every single week we get to go out and surprise different teachers that get nominated on our app. Uh, Nothing Bun Cakes and Scooter's Coffee have given us these cool prizes. I mean, who doesn't like cake? Right. And we go on surprise and coffee. And These coffee. teachers need that coffee. Right. <laughs> and we go on Fridays on the last day of the school week uh, to surprise teachers that are nominated by their students, by parents yeah. of students that are there at these schools. And we show up and surprise them and do our best in making their week. And it's really sincere and endearing. Mm -hmm. And these teachers love it. I mean, Obviously, I hate when yeah. people cry, but happy tears Aww. are good tears, too. I know they are. <laughs> okay, so the surprises start in September, I believe, September 8th. Yep. Um, and as you kind of alluded to, uh, this is how you choose the teachers. Teachers, you're going to want to go to B100's website and you kind of fill out this little questionnaire. You get to put in who your favorite teacher is. You've got to put your name. You've got to talk about what they teach and why you yeah. think they are so great. And then hopefully they get chosen and they get surprised at some point. Absolutely. We get a lot of nominations. I would love to hit them all. You know, there's a lot of educators in my family. My uncle's a principal in Clinton. My mom teaches at the high school in, in Clinton. Wow. So teachers run in our family. And teachers have always don't impacted us. Don't get enough credit. They don't, seriously. Yeah. And this is our little small way of helping out teachers and giving them the confidence that they so much deserve and the yeah. praise they deserve too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's a really cool thing, so we hope that everybody will get involved with that this fall. Of course, visit B100QuadCities.com for more information yeah. on the tailgate tour and the QC teachers. Connor, thank you so much. Thank